Hello everyone and welcome to Blagona Everything and welcome back to the channel and a match preview as we take a look at Barcelona's upcoming match against Valencia which is Sunday night's late late La Liga special kickoff time at like 10 p.m. where I am. I don't know where, what time it will be where you are. Anywho, going into this match, Barcelona are going to need a win in order for them to stay in the top four because I think last I checked, Atletico Madrid was beating Osasuna. I'm not sure what the final score is. The game is probably just about winding up now. And it's not going to be easy for Barcelona. That's one thing I will say because Valencia just so happened to be a team that wastes the most time. Yeah, seriously. In all of La Liga. In all of the top five leagues in Europe, you know what I'm saying? For Dallas, Bome, what can you say? Anywho, you know how we usually do with this. We're going to quickly talk some squad news. Then I will give you my match prediction. And I don't know, I think I'll briefly do a once to watch because I haven't done one in a while. But yeah, on to that squad news. And we are going to start with the home team, which of course is Valencia. It's a bit tricky here to say with Valencia because there are a number of players who are doubtful but could possibly still play which i think you know when they say possibly could still play they're just definitely going to play but anywho those players are dominic the goalkeeper gabriel balista jose haya the captain and maxi gomez their number nine or at least the most reliable one and for that reason i think he's probably going to start but right now these are the players who are looking most likely to miss out and um before i get to talking to fc barcelona please if you're enjoying this video do hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well now barcelona do have quite a few injuries and unavailable players of their own we already know the players like Dani alves and gerard piquet are not going to be available for barca due to suspensions you know both of them because of red cards so this will be the last week that alves will be unavailable same as well for gerard piquet so barca will have to do a bit of maneuvering or tinkering with that back line at least xavi hernandez will but aside from them we've got players like memphis Depay, who right now just aren't yet ready to start i think he's in training but he's probably just not been given the green light to play yet and of course there's the likes of ansu fati clema longley sergio roberto and sama umtiti who are all out with injuries either long term or short term but they're not going to be able to start or participate for barcelona on sunday night and um that's just about that as far as squad news is concerned and that means we can expect to see both teams line up as follows Valencia will most likely set up in a 4-1, 4-1 formation. I did earlier mention that Valencia one of the team that wastes the most time. Valencia also just one of those like, you know, peak Atletico Madrid. They're like a light version of that. Very much dark arts and anti-football if you put it that way. So we can expect that they're going to pack that midfield. They're going to sit deep. They should set up kind of like this. Shouldn't be too different from this anyway. FC Barcelona on the other hand, you know how it's going to be 4-3-3 the only question is with the front three i'm not too sure who chavi is going to select here but i'm thinking with the fact that valencia will be sitting deep you're probably going to want a target man in there right so maybe look the young gets back in the starting 11 and I'm just not too sure what happens with those wing spots because if you're starting De Jong, maybe you have to start Traore as well, looking at how how good he's been with the crosses, right? So the only question is who starts on the left wing? Is it Aubameyang? Is it Dembele? Is it Ferran Torres? I'm thinking it'll probably be Ferran Torres anyway. But yeah, Barca should set up in a 43 and the team should look a lot like this. Now that means we can move on and briefly just look at some of the players who are likely to influence the outcome of this match straight up for valencia it's going to be gonzalo Guedes and probably maxi gomez should he be fit pretty simple here barcelona are vulnerable when it comes to high balls over the back because you know they're going to play a, a high back line and there's not a lot of speed in that back line when araujo isn't available it's definitely going to be an easy tactic throwing that ball maybe look at gonzalo Guedes, ask him to chase it and Maxi Gomez playing as that striker off the shoulder of the last defender. They can get a lot of joy potentially with that tactic. Carlos Soler as well is, is very good at carrying the ball and running. Same with Hugo Duro. So yeah, I'm guessing those will be the players that will most likely influence the outcome of the match for Valencia. I mean, we're not going to count the defenders because they'll be doing a lot of defending. So we'll just look at the other guys. 
up the other end of the pitch. For FC Barcelona, well, it's going to have to be the guys who've recently just been digging them out of holes. Yeah, I'm looking at Luke De Jong, I'm looking at Adama Traore. It has to be something from one of the forwards, maybe even Pedri as well, although that midfield will be seriously congested. So I guess how well Pedri copes with that, Pedri and Gavi, and you know whoever else Xavi picks in that midfield, how well they cope with that is going to determine what kind of result that FC Barcelona are going to get here. That now just leaves me with a match prediction, and man, this one is difficult to call. Quite simply put, if Barcelona had everyone available, I think I would be edging them for a win here, but they do not have everyone available, and that's the reason why I'm thinking this could be a draw. Probably not going to be a good result for Barca. Probably going to fall out of the top four this weekend. But then they still have that game in hand against Rio. So, you know, it's still all in their hands. Hopefully, I will be wrong. Hopefully, Barca can, like, sneak a win here by a narrow margin. But I'm thinking a draw. Well, that's that from me. Thank you once again for tuning in. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments for this upcoming game. Who do you think will be the players that make a difference? And which team do you think comes out on top here? Thank you for tuning in and do not forget to like and subscribe to Blaugrana Everything for more content like this. Have a great day and Forza Basa.